Oh, no, no, no. We, we are not worried in the sense that, you see, in Parliament, uh, the job of parliamentarians is a very difficult one. Uh, the way the budget came, if we have allowed it to go that way, we will have been in trouble with those who elected us into office. You have to balance between the six geopolitical zones. So it's, it's the balancing effort by the National Assembly that led to those observations. And happily enough, uh, he himself has said he's coming with a supplementary appropriation, which will be dealt with as quickly as possible. I assure you about that one. No timeline for this? No, but it has not been brought, so we, how can we give time, timeline? We can't give timeline about, uh, but normally supplementary budget doesn't last long because it will be based, uh, it will be a build up based on what has already been done uh, by the National Assembly. So I think that is uh, the most important issue. What, what about the delay in the passage of the budget? No, no, no. Ab about, no about the issue of delay, the president is right, but at the same time, if you remember, you were here when president had to order some MDS to appear before the National Assembly for the purpose of defending their budget. You see, it's a very delicate issue. If somebody say he wants 500 billion for maintenance of bridges nationwide, and then you expect the National Assembly to say, okay, that budget is approved because it's coming from the executive. We have not done our work. We will be interested in knowing which rule of the rules are you going to maintain so that, again, we don't give another allocation in the next budget. Those observations are correct, but in the budgeting process, those, are, uh, 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 those uh, things are normal. Some of these major concerns Mr. President has raised are very critical, and I'm afraid if I should be in a position to really respond on behalf of the House. But for me, as an individual and as a member of the House of Representatives, I want to believe that the President is, uh, is at liberty to raise some of these observations he has raised. Uh, but the most important thing you have to note is that the budget is at least now signed by the President. The budget is now law of the Federation, and we expect the executive arm of government to now implement the budget to the latter. Should the President now have other concerns to bring about maybe amendments or some supplementary other supplementary uh, budgets for the National Assembly to consider, I think we will at the same time also be at liberty to look at the President's concerns and look at those things that he wants us to now review. And I want to believe the National Assembly is always in a position to work hand in hand with Mr. President. A lot of us, a lot of us in the National Assembly, in both the chambers, I want to assure you, have tremendous respect for Mr. President. We have also, uh, we cherish his moral integrity as a leader. And I want to believe we will always play in tune to his expectations to make him be able to